Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Waconia, Minnesota, and the Laughing Trail Fly Tying Club. Today we're tying the No Name Caddis. It's called a No Name Caddis because I don't know where I got this pattern from or if it ever had a name. So I just call it the No Name Caddis. Uh, it's a nice looking caddis pattern, a little different than the standard elk hair caddis or some of those other patterns. So it's tied on a size 14 emerger hook. The body is light gray span flex, so it's a stretchy floss material. There's an underwing of three light gray dun CDC feathers. The overwing is bleached deer hair. Uh, the collar here, there's a little bit of Adam Superfly gray dubbing in there, and then uh, medium dun hackle. So we'll get the hook and device. Mention it's a size 14 emerger hook. Nice looking uh, profile to this hook. Up for thread, I've got some done in uh, 14 knot. I'm going to start it at the halfway point or maybe just a little bit in front of the halfway point. Clip off the excess. And this is band flex, stretchy, flossy material. So I'm going to tie that in right at you know, about that halfway point. Trap it with my thread. And then I'm going to wrap back, and as I'm wrapping that back, I'm pulling it pretty tight under tension here. Just take that down around the bend a little bit. All right. Back up. Throw a half hitch in here, and then I'll hang that from my bobbin cradle and use the rotary feature on my vise. And what we want to do is just make touching turns going forward. Keep a nice smooth body to the fly, no lumps or bumps. And we'll get it up just past halfway. Secure it with my tying thread. And then I'll come in and cut that excess off. So I took three CDC feathers. Aligned it on my desktop, try to even the tips up as best as I could. And we're going to tie that in so it goes to just about to the back of the hook shank, or to the bend of the hook there. A couple good wraps of tying thread. Bind that down real good, a little slippery. So I took some bleached deer here. I cleaned it, stacked it. You don't need a real big clump of this. So we'll get it up so it's just uh, the tips are just past that CDC. Make a couple loose wraps of tying thread and I'll pull that tight. A few more tight wraps there. And then I'm going to lift about a third of the bundle. Lift a third of the bundle. One more third. And I guess we can do one more third. Come in underneath, make some tight wraps of thread there. Now, I will always do a, a one of these a, in advance and then finish it. So when I was doing this the sec first time, I actually cut my tying thread and my bobbin ended up on the desktop and I had to start all over. So uh, hopefully I can do better this time than I did before. So just clipping off that those butt ends and if you got a little bit of excess in here we're just going to try to trim that back as best as we can all right now what i like to do is grab a hold of those tips and then start wrapping this all down i'm going to try to get rid of some more of this deer hair that's a lot to bind down sometimes that'll help a little bit Crowd, crowd the eye layer a little bit, just uh, push it back. All right. So now I've got a uh, done CDC feather, or done hackle feather, and I haven't been able to get medium done feathers. I don't know why. I found some light done, and so I got a, a marker, a done colored marker, and just uh, colored that feather a little bit with that marker, and that gives it a kind of a neat look to it. 
I'm going to take just a wisp of Adam Superfine dubbing. And all this is going to do is it's going to help that give that hackle something to hold on to as we wrap that down. Throw a half hitch in here just to hold everything in place. And I should get about three turns of this hackle moving forward one in front of the other. All right. Come in and secure that with my tying thread. Hang it from my tension knob. Things a little bit crowding my eye, so I'm just gonna try to push everything back with my thumbnail. And that helped a little bit. And now I'll come in and do some half hitches. So there it is, a finished no-name caddis. Nice profile to it, nice colors. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.